So if you want to watch this interview in its totality, you need to go to this particular spot to watch the interview in the fullness of its humor. So we're going to begin with it. Merv Griffin. And he's speaking to Captain Fuchido, the leader of the attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. because I'm not sure yet how to do it myself, but I think we'll all find out together. I ask uh, your patience and your interest and a chance for this gentleman to be heard. Over 20 years ago, it would have been impossible to have this man sit before an American audience. He was the commander of the task force that bombed Pearl Harbor. For three months, he trained the men, planned the strategy, picked the day, ordered the bombs. He ordered the bombs that were dropped that crippled our Navy and brought the United States into World War II. One of the struck ships, the USS Arizona, still rests at the bottom of the harbor, now a memorial as well as a steel graveyard for its crew. After the attack, he drank champagne in a victory party for his accomplishment. His story from that day on, I think you'll find a most interesting one. This is Captain Mitsuo Fuchida. He does not speak English, and this young gentleman to his right is an interpreter. They have not met, I understand, until tonight. His name is... Is it Mr. Tashiaki Taga? Did I pronounce that all right? That's right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Fujita, after Pearl Harbor, did you think you would win the war? I thought 50-50. 50-50? Uh -huh. Right. Were you, were you rewarded for your mission? After the Pearl Harbor. Let's go back. Captain Fuchida. Now listen to how he's introduced. Art for its crew. After the attack, he drank champagne in a victory party for his accomplishment. His story from that day on, I think you'll find a most interesting one. This is Captain Mitsuo Fuchida. He does not speak English, and this. Did you catch it? now a memorial as well as a steel graveyard for its crew. After the attack, he drank champagne in a victory party for his accomplishment. His story from that day on, I think you'll find a most interesting one. This is Captain Mitsuo Fuchida. He does not speak English, and this young gentleman to his right is an interpreter. They have not met, I understand, until tonight. His name is, is it Mr. Tashiaki Taga? Did I pronounce that all right? That's right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Fujita, after Pearl Harbor. Okay, let's uh, let, let's let's use the phrase that he used. He does not speak English. Now he directs the question directly to Mr. Fujita. Did you think you would win the war? I thought 50-50. 50-50? Uh -huh. Right. Were you, were you rewarded for your mission? After the Pearl Harbor, when I came back to Japan, Emperor called me to the palace and he decorated me the best medal. The Emperor? Mm -hmm. That was uh, at Hirohito? Hirohito, yes. Yes, at, uh, and he decorated you yeah. at the palace. Right. Now, was the plan to invade Hawaii or eventually occupy the United States? There was no plans to... Why don't you get the interpreter to interpret for you? This poor guy here never hardly says a word, but he's the interpreter. Mr. Fujita doesn't speak English. But he led the attack on Pearl Harbor. Hmm. Or
or do you think he's just an actor of Japanese background that speaks pretty fluent English? <laughs> I got the biggest jolt out of this deal here because Pearl Harbor was a fake. These are supposedly captured films, but yet they're translated into English. Supposedly the Japanese filmed these and showed them, but you'll see it's just Hollywood. Nippon declared war against America and Britain Nippon. on December 8, 1941. Nippon Navy attacked Pearl Harbor, which the United States boasted. Now that's because it would have been December 8th, uh, I believe, in Japan, <laughs> not December 7th. So they're giving you like a Japanese version of it because they're ahead in, in time, in, in the time frame they're ahead. So it's December the 8th, not December the 7th in Nippon. It's strength and the strongest in the world. There are many miles from far Nippon on the Pacific. Our carriers sweep toward Hawaii, and all preparations on board are completed. Strong wind blows, the velocity of 17 meters per second. The sea is rough, and the waves are high, crashing against the sides of the ship with a thunderous noise. All men are on deck, and the commander of the Imperial Air Squadron delivers an address. Now the greatest air attack in the annals of war will be carried out in a few moments. War heroes determined to respond to their country's call beyond life and death. Okay, that's the squadron that Captain Fuchido led. But let's get back and see if he needs any help with the tr from the translator. Maybe the translator should go ahead and help him out a little bit there. This poor guy don't know what to do with himself. He's supposed to be translating! Invade Hawaii or absolutely to occupy the United States mainland. You did not necessarily want to attack the mainland of uh -huh. the United States. Mm -hmm. Right. When did, you, when did you feel the war was lost? When the Gadar Canal campaign was going on. Water Canal? Uh -huh. But that was very early. Did you know well, then? Next year. And you knew then that the war was lost? Yeah, I felt. Because of the... Notice how Marv Griffin has to lead him along. But that was very early, Guadalcanal. You better change your answer for the public. The Germans? Was it because of the Germans starting to fail in Europe? That's right. Right. Japanese victory relied upon German's victory. And then at that time... German is already uh, dooming. I see. Now, did you consider your mission a duty only, or at that time did you hate America? It was absolutely on duty. There was no room of hate for an occupational officer. You did not hate America? That's right. Uh, it was just a duty? That's right. I see. Uh, Many bombs. Nippon bombers speed toward Hawaii in dim light. 
first before planes attack. Wheeler Field, America's Air Base. So this is supposed to be the Japanese version of their triumph. It's in good, perfect English. Sunday, December the 8th. <laughs> well, let's keep it going here. Get to see some models. Now you can see very clearly, right? Those are just little toy models. Right? Or do you want to believe? Do you want to believe that a fleet came over from Nippon and went up into the air and dropped bombs everywhere on Pearl Harbor? Do you want to believe that? If so, my videos will do you no good because it's the desire within people to want to believe that brings about the belief. You want desperately for someone who's a good storyteller to tell you stories of fantasy and then you accept them because everyone accepts them. Now you see you have to get out of it and say I am not accepting the fairy tales anymore. The storyteller needs to be gone. Just a little bit of smoke the camera's being shaken to make you think there's something going on when there's nothing going on except somebody lit a fire and made some smoke and they added some sound effects. Next, Fort Island. Nippon planes release heavy charges. Dive bombers go into action. Enemy aircraft guns bark. But the scores are hit directly on the enemy... So he's very descriptive there, and I wonder if Captain Fuchida is able to be that descriptive with Merv Griffin. What were your feelings right after the war? Were you glad to see the war end? Naturally, I was glad to see the end of the war. Mm -hmm. Hiroshima. What were your feelings about Hiroshima and the bombing of it? It was a disaster. Oh boy. You've got to see my work on the weaponization of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Get out your sake. Go to my channel, the Village, Village Prisoner Set Free. Village Prisoner Set Free. Go to the playlist. Weaponization of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. <laughs> Another big joke. But remember, Mr. Fuchida cannot speak English. Well, let's get back to the actual bombing. Battleships and cruisers in the harbor. Notice your 9-11. Before now commands the vast waters of the Pacific. Her mighty warships plow the waves majestically. The greatest victory... But it saved... Uh, Half a million lives. Saved a half a million lives. Mm -hmm. uh, 
with, without it, you know. But uh, cordiality was quarter million with Bob. I see, I see. What was your opinion of Tojo? Tojo was a representative of the former Japanese army, you know. He was? He was a representative. Well, eventually, I think they do get the translator in there to translate his Japanese into English and the English into Japanese. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the end of the video with Captain Fuchida, the one who led the attack on Pearl Harbor. Thank you for watching. End of video.